Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Na'amadullahi ta'ala wa na'asafirin ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ahdahu la sharika lah Wa na'ashadu anna sayyidina Muhammadan abduhu wa habibuhu wa rasuluh Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa zwajihi wa ashabi ta'bi khulafai rashidin mahadin min ba'di Wa izadil mati Allah tahkik khususun min ala mati khulafai rasala tahkik Umar al-Mu'minin, Hazreti Abu Bakr, Umar Usman wa Ali, wa ala bakir sahabaya tabi'in, ridwan Allah ta'ala alayhi majma'in. Ya ayuha al-Mu'minu al-Hazirun, nitaku Allah ta'ala, wa atu inna Allah ma al-lazina taku al-lazina hum muhsinun. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbayi mursalin, Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. All praises are due to Allah, the Lord of the Universes. All praises are due to Allah, the most beneficent, most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. All praises are due to Allah, who has no partner and no comparison. Ya Allah, verily we are incapable of praising you. Indeed, you are as you have praised yourself. And may all peace and blessings be upon the Imam of the Messengers, the Sultan of the Prophets, the Master of the First and the Last, the Intercessor of the Day of Judgment, the Beloved of Allah, Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammad and upon his noble family and blessed companions, especially upon the Khulaifah Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Umar al Faruq, Hazrat Usman al Ghani, and Hazrat Ali al Murtaza, and all those who follow them until the last day. Ya Ayyuhal Mu'minun, O believers, Welcome to you, welcome to you in the month of Ramazan and welcome to you on the last Juma of the holy month of Ramazan, the Jumat al-Wada. The month of Ramazan, it is almost over. In one week, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us life, we will be reaching to the Idul Fitr. Hazrat Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari radiallahu an is narrating that he visited the Holy Prophet on the last Friday of Juma, and the Holy Prophet taught him, saying, Ya Jabir, this is the last Juma of Ramazan. You should therefore bid it farewell by saying the following Ya Allah, please do not make it the last time I ever fast in this month. But if you decide to do so, then let me to be from those who reach to your mercy not from those who are cut off from your mercy. Amen. O oh, believers, uh, today should be a serious day for us. Today should be a day of tafakkur for us. Today should be a day that we sit down and we check ourselves and we ask ourselves, how did I spend this Ramazan? 
Am I a better servant to my Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after these holy days and holy nights? Did I wake up the passion in my heart to run more for the sake of my Lord, for the sake of my Prophet, for the sake of my Shaykh? Or did I lose this Ramazan? Did I just spend this Ramazan in Ghaflat without gaining anything? We still have a few days to run. And if we haven't shown the proper respect to Ramazan until this point, then we should run even harder to catch up. We should be afraid to reach to the category of people who reach to the Eid al-Fitr day and they have nothing to celebrate. Our Shaykh Sahib al-Sayyid Shabdun Karbi Sayyid Rabbani is warning us about being the losers in the month of Ramazan, saying, the Ramazan passed. And it took your good deeds and your bad deeds with it and it sealed it and it's going to be there. Ramazan is going to complain about some people on the judgment day. Fasting is going to complain too. You should check. We should check ourselves to see where we are, what we did to regret, to run back. Ask forgiveness. Try to catch up. Not too much to catch up but Allah's mercy may reach. We don't know anything. Anyone who is claiming to know something, they are the most ignorant ones. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, run. If you did the mistake, turn around. Turn around and don't be arrogant and stubborn like shaitan. That's what it is. If the person is carrying, as we said in the beginning of Ramazan, don't fast only from eating, drinking, and different activities. Fast from anger. Fast from proudness. Fast from arrogance. Fast from stubbornness. Fast from jealousy and envy. Fast from ghaflat. Fast from these things. Get rid of it. During the month of Ramazan, it should have been easier. To some, it didn't. That shows that you are supporting your ego. Shaitan. Shaitan is not there. Shaitan is chained. That shows that you are a slave to your ego. You are not a servant to Allah. You are a slave to the ego. Oh believers, these are the words of our Shaykh. We must wake up and run to become the servants of Allah. We don't have any more time to be trapped in the slavery of Shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing us in the Holy Quran saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Hasn't the time come for the believers that their hearts should shake with humbleness in the zikr of Allah and of the truth which has been revealed to them and that they should not become like those who got the revelation before them but time passed over them and their hearts, it grew hard because many among them they are rebellious sinners. Ya ayyuhal mu'minun, the time has come for our hearts to shake, to be humble from the zikr of Allah. The time has come for the passion to wake up in our hearts because each day that passes, we are coming closer to our grave. And with each step we take, the angel of death is coming closer and closer to us. And when we meet him, we have no more time. And if we leave this world without completing our mission, without fulfilling our promise to our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will not be able to bear what is waiting for us on the other side. Sahib al Sahib is teaching us, saying, Narul Hasarat is going to burn those who are not taking Allah's orders seriously. He is not taking them to His presence, saying, didn't I deserve to be worshipped? I gave you everything and you ran away because of your ego? Didn't I send you a message saying your ego is your enemy and shaitan is your enemy? And you became allies with shaitan against me that I've created you and given you everything? Go. Allah is saying that. That person wishes saying I hope that the Lord of the heavens puts me through every hell to burn forever, not to speak to me like that. 
that time he wakes up. But it's too late. It's too late. Narul Hasarat starts burning from the inside then. The fire of regret. The fire of regret starts burning from the inside then. The loneliness of separation. Feeling the separation from his Lord. That fire starts from the inside and starts burning inside. And at that time, the outside hell is nothing. Ya Rabbi, we're asking to not be from those people that are going to be burnt by the fire of regret. O oh, believers, our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the most merciful. And non-stop, He is giving us ways. He is giving us chances to make up for our mistakes and to catch them. And one of those biggest chances that has ever been given to any people before, we are about to enter into it. We are in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. And as our Shah is saying, the Allah is saying that there is a big chance that the Laylatul Qadr is hidden in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. What is Laylatul Qadr? One time the Holy Prophet ﷺ was speaking to his Sahabis and was telling them that the believers amongst the Bani Israel, they had such a long lifespan that they would worship 80 years non-stop with no disobedience. And the Sahabi Kiram, they were very amazed and they were getting sad, thinking that they didn't have this chance. And right at that time, Jibreel salam, came to the Holy Prophet and said, Ya Muhammad, salam, it looks like you and your Sahabi are very shocked that the believers in the Bani Israel used to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 80 years non-stop without disobeying Allah for even one second. So now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending you something even better than that time. So now Allah has sent down to you something even better than that. And that time Jibreel alayhi salam, he brought the wahi, the revelation to the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. Revealing. The Surah Al-Qadr, which is saying, Behold, we sent it down on the night of power. And what has made you know what is the night of power? The night of power is better than a thousand months. In this night, the angels and the Ruh, they come down by the Lord's permission on every command. It is peace until the rising of the dawn. Barakallahu lazim. And Jibreel salam, said to the Holy Prophet salam, this is even more excellent than that which you and your companions found so amazing. And the Holy Prophet salam, was so happy with this honor that was bestowed upon his ummat. And he's saying this hadith sharif whoever stands in the nights of Ramazan out of faith and in the hope of reward, his previous sins, it will be forgiven. And whoever spends the night of Laylatul Qadr in prayer out of faith and in the hope of reward, his previous sins will be forgiven. O oh, believers, this chance is being given to us that has not been given to any other ummat. We should run for this opportunity. Our Shaykh is saying to us, there is one night in the holy month of Ramazan, Laylatul Qadr, which the Holy Prophet is ordering to us to look to find that night in the last 10 nights of Ramazan. This is to show us that we should show more care and more discipline to our fasting. It's not because we are coming to an end and we start being sloppy, but to be more disciplined in the end of Ramazan now, in the last days. O oh, believers, we are in the last 10 nights of Ramazan. We should catch this chance that is being given to us by our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can leave this holy month clean and pure. As our Shaykh Sahib al Sayyid is saying, we must look, we must make intention. At least these 10 days now, 
in the afternoon time to sit somewhere after finishing all our duties. At least fix your timing during that month and say, I am not working because during the daytime I am fasting and in the nighttime I must be making some extra worshipping. I must have some time to read, to sit and recite some Quran. Another blessing is coming with that. The Holy Prophet is saying in the judgment day, Ramazan is coming and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rabbi, I am here to give shafaat to those people who kept me properly. They showed me proper respect. During the daytime, Ramazan is saying, I'm giving shafaat to those who are fasting. If you are worshipping at night time, then that one is saying, I'm showing respect and asking safety in shafaat for those who are keeping this night properly. The Holy Prophet is saying to us, at least do that much. O oh, believers, inshallah Rahman, we should make intention to run in these last 10 nights to try to catch these blessings. We must make intention to put our ego, our shaitan, our dunya, our desires under our feet and to become free from their slavery. We should make the intention to become good servants of our Lord, of our Prophet, of our Shaykh in these nights. Inshallah, we are asking our Lord to count us amongst those who are passing this Ramazan with mercy, with forgiveness and with freedom from the fire. Amen.